Hey YouTube, uh, Blue Handled Knife Collection, Part 2. Uh, let's jump right in here and look at some knives. we got the Leatherman Squirt, one of my favorite uh, everyday carry tools. Uh, this is a $35 knife. Uh, next we got some Cadets from Victorinox, Swiss Army. Approximately $32 bucks each. Uh, I believe this is the uh, not and fancy uh, aqua blue kind of color, and then the, the blue, just the standard blue. Uh, Cadets got the uh, nail tool blade and the opening layer on the Alox versions, and then uh, they're about thirty-two bucks. Then I have the uh, climber. This is a great uh, everyday carry. Swiss Army. Two blades. The small pen blade, the big blade, scissors, opening layer, scale tools, uh, parcel hook, all great knife. And that is about 32 bucks as well. And then the cyber tool. This is a about a hundred bucks. Uh, pliers, scissors, uh, two blades, opening layer. Uh, it's got the uh, the driver with the uh, with the bit kit. Uh, a little big to carry in pocket, but uh, great kit knife, uh, great tool set. Then the Northwoods uh, All American Barlow. Uh, this is from Queen. Uh, it's uh, 140. I got it on the uh, secondary market. Uh, blue camel bone. Um, Queen are definitely not up to the standards of a uh, Great Eastern Cutlery, but I believe they're out of business, so uh, kind of irrelevant at this point. Uh, then the mini firecracker out the front. Just a $20, uh, kind of a novelty knife, almost. Uh, then the, uh, Falk Niven PCRB. $140 knife. No pocket clip. In pocket carry knife. It's got that laminated, uh, cost. Uh, blade steel. Great blade shape. Great ergos. Uh, nice and light. Great in pocket knife. I got some Kershaws here. The uh, the leaks have kind of the smoked, the smoked blue, and then just the standard blue. Uh, both of these are liner locks, and they're approximately seventy bucks. Uh, then my Skyline. It's a seventy dollar knife. Uh, this has the uh, I believe it's blades we love. Uh, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, these are aluminum, satin aluminum uh, scales. Uh, I put a deep pocket clip because this is the Skyline I carry. I don't carry it much, but uh, when I carry one, this is a great knife. The next one is the uh, Dozier K-Bar. Uh, $20 knife. This is a fantastic everyday carry $20 knife. Lock back, thumb stud, decent clip, uh, well thought out. Uh, little details on this knife as far as uh, the pocket clip hits a smooth part of the, uh, the scale so it doesn't rip your pocket up. Um, the thumb stud is reversible as well as the pocket clip. Uh, nice and lightweight. Uh, for not having uh, not having liners, the blade's good and, and it's got a little wiggle, but not much. Uh, the, for twenty bucks, you, it's hard to beat this knife. Then the uh, Browse Blades Bionic 2.0. It's a hundred and forty dollar knife. Drop point, hollow ground, liner lock, uh, great action. Don't carry this much, um, but uh, I, I prob probably should. It needs sharpened up, but uh, 
D2 uh, tool steel, I believe. Yeah. But a uh, pretty good looking knife. Okay, the Spider Codes. Uh, the, uh, one of my favorites, military. This is the S90V uh, clip point flat ground. Um, this is a, this was an exclusive or a, uh, you know, short run. This was a uh, 270 bucks, but, uh, love the military. Then the, uh, blurple, uh, paramilitary two S110 clip point flat ground, 175 bucks. Uh, the Tenacious $52 knife. What can be said about this? This is a great knife. A little maybe overpriced uh, in today's market, but uh, with all the Chinese options that are pretty nice out there, you could probably do better for $50. Bucks. Uh, the Native 5, one of my favorites. This is a lightweight. Uh, this is $110, $112. S110V. Uh, I uh, love the native. This is a great everyday carry knife. Uh, the blade does a lot of good work, and uh, the lightweight's fantastic. Uh, great carry, and uh, just a. I mean, you can get a nice, several different grips on it, and uh, just a, one of my favorites. Fantastic. Then the Endura Four. This is VG10. This is just a standard. Uh, BG10 version, drop point, flat ground, 68 bucks. Um, if you like a bigger blade and uh, need a lightweight knife, and or if you're a fan of the Delica but maybe want something a little bigger, this is a great option. Um, ton of info on the Enduras. Any Spyderco, actually. Then the Ubiquitous Rat One, $30 knife, Oz8. Uh, the light blue were an exclusive from somebody. I think Knife Works. But uh, the rat's just fantastic. Then the Boker Magnum B and B, 440C steel drop point, hollow ground, twenty-eight dollar knife. Another uh, cheap option. Uh, no pocket clip on this, and it's actually a little big to carry in pocket. So, and there's no pou It didn't come with a pouch or anything. So this is uh, this is one I like. Really like the shape, but uh, I never carry it just because. It's way too big for in pocket. Then the steel wheel cut jack M390 version, 153 bucks. Uh, info all over YouTube on this, but this is uh, one of steel wheel's best knives, and uh, I, I love uh, M390. Uh, great ergos. What can be said? It's uh, it's like I said, it's all over YouTube. Then the uh, Kaiser Klecker S35 VN clip point hollow ground. Um, I believe these are about a hundred bucks. Um, there are, uh, three Klecker design Kaisers. Uh, they're all liner locks. Uh, this is probably my favorite. It's a huge knife. Big handle, but, uh, the Ergos are good, and I love the blade shape. Uh, the pocket clip's a little wonky for how big the knife is, but, uh, great knife. Especially if you like uh, bigger knives. Okay, then the fixed blades. Uh, this is the SE6. Uh, I think uh, just the standard SE6 is 100 to 120 bucks. Uh, this one I have tricked out with uh, with custom scales and the custom sheath, and uh, I think uh, Apostle P. I bought this from him and had it sharpened, so that added some money to it. He actually sharpened the swedge as well, which is cool. Um, so I think the whole package is about 200 bucks with all the customization and sharpening. But uh, this is a great camp knife. Um, it's actually sort of tactical too. So, but uh, just fantastic. It's a 10.95, I believe, carbon steel. Yeah, with the uh, with the coating, keep it from rusting up. But uh, just a great knife. Pommel. I guess that's protruded tang, but uh, then the Guardian 3 M390 drop point flat ground. Uh, these are fantastic uh, 
EDC uh, fixed blades, uh, especially you can horizontal carry if your shirt's untucked, no one will ever see it. Um, these uh, 3D milled uh, handles are fantastic and uh, just a great knife. And again, M390, one of my favorites. Okay, then the Ontario Mortar 4. Uh, this is, I think, a $60 knife. This is just a almost a novelty knife for me, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, these are aluminum, I believe, and uh, it's got it's got a pretty cool coating on the blade. It sharpened up, but uh, I guess sort of a tactical kind of kind of knife there. And then last up, the Ambush Brute CPM 3V. This is a $170 knife. Um, nice, really comfortable handle. Blade's a little short for the for how big the handle is, I think. But uh, camp, as far as camp knives go, this is a good one. Um, you definitely uh, drive some stakes with that protruded tang. Um, she's decent. It's uh, actually gets caught up a little bit on the uh, on the handle swedge there, sort of thing. But uh, overall, great knife. I have a couple ambush actually, and I, I really like them. Anyways, so that's it. Part two of the uh, the blue handle knives. Uh, next one will probably be wood handle knives. So. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, and thanks for all the support. Bye, YouTube.